Nicola Sturgeon was brutally slapped down by Ruth Davidson in a fiery First Minister's Questions clash over the SNP's handling of the Alex Salmond inquiry. Nicola Sturgeon told Holyrood that she was determined her SNP government will learn from the mistakes they made during the handling of the investigation into Alex Salmond. However, Ruth Davidson slammed the SNP leader for failing to answer her question. Ms. Davidson said, the government's senior lawyer warned the government personally against plowing on regardless because of a large expenses bill that would inevitably rise. So let me ask the First Minister, how much taxpayers' money did it cost from that moment on? Ms. Sturgeon replied, we set out the cost of the judicial review, I do not have that breakdown to hand. The SNP leader added, I think the impression that the opposition is trying to give is that what we have published is somehow a rosy picture here and there are horrors lurking underneath that are being concealed, anybody that reads this can see very clearly that is not the case. A serious error was made by the government in this investigation and as the judicial review proceeded that error became very apparent. That is why ultimately the judicial review had to be conceded. Perhaps instead of chasing phantoms, the opposition should focus on what is there because it sets out very clearly the mistakes the government made and the lessons we need to learn from that and lessons I am determined the government will learn from that. Ms. Davidson responded, I asked the First Minister a very specific question and whatever that was, it was not an answer. On Wednesday, John Swinney, Scotland's deputy first minister survived a vote of no confidence over the botched SNP-led Scottish government investigation into Alex Salmond. A total of 57 MSPs voted yes and 65 voted no after the motion was debated by politicians this afternoon. The Green Party voted no alongside the SNP. The Scottish Conservative Party, Labour and the Liberal Democrats all backed the motion against the Deputy First Minister. Douglas Ross, Scottish Conservative leader said, John Swinney has survived but Honest John is no more. He has shamefully shut down the scrutiny that this inquiry was meant to provide. Instead of considering the weight of evidence against John Swinney, the Greens have traded principles for an SNP budget deal. Thank <laughs> you.